Well, some good news here. Calmer skies today for Southwest passengers, not only here in Indianapolis, but also those all across the country. Yeah, after thousands of flight cancellations and delays the last three days, things appear to be getting back to normal just as the airline faces a different storm. At the Southwest ticket counter, all decked out for Halloween. Talk about scary. I've been nonstop watching the news and checking on everything. Erin Curry is organizing a school trip to Washington, D.C. with 87 students and parents. They're supposed to fly out tomorrow, but after hundreds of flight cancellations and delays the past few days. We have parents very concerned because we have a lot of money invested. And with it being fall break, we are concerned about um, rebooking flights, you know, getting us out there um, and hopefully getting us back too. So she's at the airport to make sure she's done everything she can. We fly out at six o'clock tomorrow morning, so we uh, have our fingers crossed that it'll all work out. Yeah. As of noon on Tuesday at IND, only two Southwest flights were delayed and none were canceled. Anxious travelers breathing a sigh of relief. Flights on time today? Yes, everything's good so far. Nationwide, according to flight tracking site FlightAware.com, Southwest still had 571 delays and 89 flights canceled. A concern for passengers, but an improvement from this weekend. For now, travelers are hoping for a smoother ride. Along with their tickets, they're also taking precautions. We're trying to work out plan B's and alternate arrangements just in case. So, what caused the chaos? Well, today, Southwest's CEO said a seven-hour ground stop in Orlando contributed to the whole thing, and that really created a snowball effect. Some had wondered if an employee sick out might be to blame. Remember, the pilots' union just filed a lawsuit over the airline's looming COVID vaccine mandate, but the union said it wasn't that. As for that lawsuit, the union wants a judge to block a COVID vaccine mandate. I talked with a lawyer today who said a lot of eyes are going to be on this judge's decision, whatever he or she decides, because it could really be a litmus test for other unions and employers in other industries. Take a listen. I think it's a great question for the courts to lay down some type of foundation because it's going to be with us for a long time as COVID seems to be with us for a long time now. 